Pirates. of Spirit B and Sig FC. And we're off. In the first race for Buggy 2005, we got Spirit B and Sig FC. That's Seraph and Quest are the Buggy names. Nice bright orange one for Spirit on the left. And it uh, looks like it's pretty much a dead heat going up the top of First Hill. We have Spirit, looks like they're gonna be making their transition first as Sig F falls a little bit behind with their C Team Quest. They make their push off to their Hill 2 pusher. Spirit looks like it's gonna be coming around the bend. Then Sig FC finally makes their push off and we're into buggy and we are into the free roll as Spirit shoves off into the hill. It's making a nice light, tight line. Serif er, um, is a sleek, sleek red buggy. It's coming down and Sig F finally makes their shove off to the hill a good 10 seconds behind. They're coming around the bend coming around the first turn, staying on the inside of the bike lane. There's not too much out on the course. They did a great job of sweeping it out this morning. And it looks like uh, Quest, the Sig F buggy, is falling a little bit further behind. So we're coming around the corner towards the stop sign. Got some sweepers out there. So far, a pretty clean line. And uh, we are coming around the corner, heading down towards the flaggers. And Spirit finally reaches their flagger at the pedestrian line. And Sig F is a good 15 seconds behind. And they're coming up to the second flagger, around the corner, into the chute. And uh, Seraph has a nice design, a little bit of back tail, but uh, it's been clean into the chute, right by the hill uh, bail stacks, and uh, Sig Epps buggy finally gets to their second flagger. Looks like Spirit's buggy is going to roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows. And it looks like he's touching about 10 feet short of the plug. And actually, Sig F had a very good roll through the chute as they're only about 10 seconds behind and their hill three pusher picks up the buggy. Spirit's coming up the backside, slow, but uh, we got a good crowd out here. We'd like to get a little bit more noise from the crowd and uh, cheer on your pushers up the backside. Got Spirit making their transition off to their hill four. Or actually, doing, or sorry, Sig F making their transition off to their hill four right now. Uh, Spirit coming up the backside, right around the uh, middle of uh, Baker Porter, right around where it starts becoming uh, Baker, and uh, getting ready to make their shove off to their Hill 5 pusher as they're coming up towards the end. Um, coming up to the little break between Baker and the Hunt Library as uh, the Spirit pusher gives their final shove off to their Hill 5. So it looks like the uh, first day's race has been going off without a hitch as uh, Sig Epp is uh, making up some good time in the back, back stream. Still about 10 seconds behind, but they're coming up towards the finish. We're already up to two minutes and 50 seconds, and it looks like it'll probably cross the line in, at uh, 57, 258, 259, three minutes, 301, 302, 303, and they're crossing the finish line in an unofficial time of about three minutes and four seconds. Sig Epp is still coming up the backside, and uh, come on, Crab, we want to hear you cheer him on. It's the first race of the year. Coming up towards the finish, about 318, 319, 320. And it uh, looks like they're gonna cross the finish line at three minutes and 22 seconds as an unofficial time. And uh, nice third buggy for Sig Epp. Quest and Seraph was your Spirit B buggy. Let's send it back up to the top of the hill. Yeah, Alan, two good runs to start off the morning. Two solid clean runs, uh, no accidents or anything like that. So a good start to uh, this year's festivities. Isn't that right? That's absolutely right. I am so looking forward to uh, the next couple of heats that we have. This is going to be great. Next up, we have Pioneers A and Prince.